What's up everybody, this is Karak Code, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your very own outro with Photoshop CS6. Now, here's an example on the screen on how your outro is going to look like, but of course, you guys can make your own colors and basically make it however you want it to look like. Now, if you guys don't have Photoshop for whatever reason, I left the link in the description. You guys can go ahead and click that, follow the instructions on the website on how to get Photoshop, and once you guys got that done, we're going to go ahead and get started. So go ahead and click on File and click on New. Now, if you guys are making 1080p videos, make sure your dimensions are 1920 by 1080 But if you guys are making 720p videos, make sure your dimensions are 1280 by 720 Now, where it says background contents, make sure this is on transparent. And make sure everything else looks just like this. And go ahead and click on OK. Now, what you guys are going to do is go ahead and click on the paint bucket tool right here. Make sure that this box is white, so click on that. And click OK. And just click inside anywhere. Now you guys should have a white background. What you guys are going to do next is where it says layer 1, you're going to right click on that and cl click on blending options. Then you're going to click on gradient overlay and click on it one more time inside like that. Okay, now what you guys are going to do is go ahead and click on the gradient right here. And you guys are going to see right now it's silver to black. We're going to go ahead and pick our own custom colors. To do that, you guys can just double click on the little box right here and find any shade of color you guys want. Uh, for this video example, I'm going to pick a nice blue. So let's go ahead and right here. And now do the same thing with the other box on the bottom. Pick a different shade of the same color. There you go, like that. Looks great. You guys can even slide it if you guys uh, want it to look a little bit different, just like that. But again, it's totally your choice. So I'm going to go ahead and just leave it like that. And click OK. Alright, now the next thing you guys are going to want to do is click on the rectangle tool right here. Now, where it says stroke, you guys are going to make sure that uh, this is on white right here, okay? And where it says the PT, just go ahead and type in 6. Now, on fill, make sure there is no stroke. So, on fill, make sure there's a slash like that and click anywhere on the screen. Now, it's going to ask you to create a rectangle. What you guys are going to do for the dimensions is type in 900 and on height, 506. This is basically going to be 16 by 9, so it's going to be perfect for your videos. And then you guys can uh, tick from center and click OK. Alright, now what you guys are going to do is you guys are going to see that it's not perfectly centered. So what you're going to do is hit Control A on your keyboard, go to Layer, Align Layers to Selection, and then go to Vertical Centers, and then go Layers, Align Layers to Selection, Horizontal Centers. Now what this is going to do is basically center it perfectly on a screen so it matches and looks great. And if you have OCD like me, it's going to really help you out. Okay, now uh, hit Control D to deselect. And now what you guys are going to do is go ahead and click on the little type tool right here. Now click on top of this and type anything you guys want. What I normally do is uh, type in previous video and then... Uh, what you're going to do is click on the little move tool and you guys can position it. But again, if you want it to align, go ahead and hit control A again. And you guys hold control and click on rectangle one. Then you guys are going to go to layer. Go to align layers to selection, horizontal centers. Now it's going to make it perfectly in the center. And what you guys can do next is right click. So click once on a previous video, right click, go to blending options, color overlay and pick a nice color. I'm going to pick white. Now click on stroke and click drop shadow so that way it uh, pops out the text a bit more and click OK. Now that you guys got that done, we're going to go ahead and uh, make some social media icons on this page, on this uh, template. So what we're going to do is go ahead and go to your browser and type in, for an example, Twitter logo PNG. Make sure it's a transparent background. PNG is basically transparent. Now the reason being is you don't want to have to uh, crop anything out. So go ahead and find a nice Twitter logo. I'm going to pick this one right here. This Twitter logo transparent background PNG. Click view image. And all you guys got to do is right click. Save image as. Click on desktops. Click save. Go back to Photoshop. File place. Find your logo and place. Now you guys are going to see that the logo is pretty big. So you're going to hold shift. And on the corners as you're holding shift. Drag it just like that. There you go. And place it anywhere you want. Personally, I would put it right here on the side and hit enter. Now, go ahead and grab your type tool again. Click anywhere on the screen and type your username. I'm going to put Croat code. Now, if you guys want the same font I'm using, it's called American Captain. You guys can go to thefont.com and install that same font you guys want. 
But anyways, we're going to go ahead and resize it where it says uh, text size. I'm going to go ahead and put 50 and move it around. Now, you guys are going to see that the text is black or whatever color it is. So go to blending options and make it the same color as your title if you want. Click stroke, drop shadow. Now we're going to do it again. Go back to uh, Google and look up any other social media sites that you use. I use also um, Twitch. So let me go ahead and put Twitch logo transparent PNG and go to images and find a nice Twitch logo. I'm going to go ahead and pick this one. This one looks nice. View image and do the same process. Save it, go to desktop and just place it on your Photoshop. All right. Again, make sure you guys hold shift and resize it about the same size as the other one. You guys can go ahead and test it out a bit. Okay. And go ahead and put it underneath. There. Now, go ahead and grab your type tool again and put your name again. So at Croat code. And then uh, center it a bit. Alright. Go back to blending options. Color overlay. Make it the same color. So basically, it's the same drill as what we were doing earlier. Now, one more thing we're going to add. Get your type tool again, and on the bottom, go ahead and type in subscribe. Highlight the text, and on the font, go ahead and up it up a bit. I'm going to put mm, 140, or actually 180. There you go. And put an exclamation point, and there you go. Now again, if you guys want to align the subscribe, make sure you hit Control A, but make sure you select the subscribe layer. And while holding Control, find your rectangle one right here. Go to layer, align layers to selection, horizontal centers. Now it's perfectly aligned. And of course, make the subscribe button a different color, which is white. Stroke, drop shadow. And bam, there you go, we're done. That's uh, basically a simple outro you guys can make. It looks really nice. And of course, if you guys want to add more social icons to the right side to fill up this space a bit, you can definitely do that. But once you guys uh, got your outro ready, go ahead and click on File. And you can go ahead and click on Save As. Go ahead and scroll down and find JPEG. JPEG and type in Outro. Save. And make sure that the, uh, the slider is all the way to the max. And click OK. And there you go. So now, when we go ahead and minimize our stuff, we can go ahead and click on Outro. And as you guys can see, there you go. Okay, so a couple of you guys might want to know on how do you put the video inside the box so it's moving on YouTube and people can click on it. Honestly, it's really simple. All you guys got to do is make sure you go ahead and, uh, if you're using Sony Vegas Pro, import your video onto the uh, timeline like I did right here. If you guys don't have Vegas Pro, I have a video on my channel on how to get Sony Vegas Pro. But anyways, once you guys import your video, go ahead and click on the import again and find your outro. And then place it on your timeline. Just like that. Now you guys can see that Here's our outro. Now what you guys got to do is right click underneath the timeline and click on insert video track. Now that you got that done, click on your previous video and drag it above the outro. Just like that. Now you guys are going to want to make sure that uh, you remove the audio. So hit the letter U on your keyboard. That way it's going to separate the tracks. You can click on your audio track and delete. Alright, now that you got that done, you guys can go ahead and uh, position the video anywhere you guys want. All right, and make sure you match it directly with the timeline. So the outro and the video are both linked the same. There you go. Now all you guys got to do is right click, go to video event, pan slash crop. And you guys are going to notice when you scroll back, there's these uh, things on the corner. When you drag it upward, you guys can see it gets smaller. And all you guys got to do is perfectly align it. And that's it. You guys can align it so... um. It shows basically the white border lines, or you can leave it just like that. I normally leave it just like this, so it's convenient. That way, when you guys see when I play the video, it works. It looks nice. It looks great. That's basically all. That's all you guys got to do to um, put it onto your videos, and that's that. Thank you guys so much for watching. You're watching Croat Code. If you haven't already, make sure you guys smack that like button, and I'll see you guys in my next video.